Welcome to Know Your Mobile. I'm Basil and we don't normally start video reviews or comparisons or walkthroughs or anything with screens off, but there's a reason we're doing it on the BlackBerry Z10, uh, the BlackBerry OS 10 walkthrough. And that's because even when the screen's off, a simple swipe up on our BlackBerry will actually unlock it. A swipe up all the way will completely unlock it. So if we try that again, swipe up, will start to unlock our phone, swiping up all the way, completely unlock our phone from off. Really cool, huh? Maybe not if you have really thin lining in your pocket, but we didn't have a problem with it. So now we're gonna actually look at the user interface. And the first screen that pays us a hello is the apps drawer. The applications drawer indicates uh, all your applications installed, which can be organized into folders, as you can see. It's very, very simple to do so. Just a simple drag of one icon on top of another will actually create a folder which you can then name. I'm going to cancel that though, and I'm going to talk you through some more of the UI. Pulling down from the top to bottom, and you've got this quick set toggle um, screen. You can access a general overview of all your settings or just some really key elements that you might want to tweak, such as rotation lock, Bluetooth, Wi Fi alarm, and notifications. Up at the top, you've got battery life meter, you've got alarm, NFC indicator, clock, and reception or signal as you Americans like to call it. Down below, you've got a sticky dock, call, search, camera. You can switch between screens with a simple swipe if you just select the page indicator. So that's the apps drawer. Swipe across to the left and you've got your multitasking pane. Apps can be sent into the multitasking pane with ease. If we open up an application, for example, we'll open up Remember, we can just swipe up as we did to unlock and it'll send it straight through into that multitasking pane. We can then very, very quickly open it up open up any application that we want, super speedy, super snappy, really very, very little cause for complaint. As you can see, heavily gesture oriented, it doesn't end there. If we take another swipe across to the left, we can see our BlackBerry Hub. BlackBerry Hub is an aggregator. It pulls together our Facebook, our LinkedIn, our Twitter, Google Talk, um, BlackBerry Messenger, text messages, etc. It's really a great way of staying on top of everything and putting it all into one place. Of course, you naturally can isolate your views. So if you wanted to, you could just view your notifications. Whoopsie. And or you could just view your Facebook, Twitter, calls, etc. There's also something really cool called BlackBerry Peak, which we will talk about now. If we take a look at quick settings for uh, now settings, for example, and we wanted to have a quick gander into our email, we can see we can do that with relative ease. If we swipe across, whoops, swipe that up, up into multitasking, swipe across, swipe across, uh, there you go. As you can see, the gestures do take some getting used to. Um, we can show you a quick downside of the actual uh, BlackBerry Peak, which is a bit of a shame. If, for example, we have this window open and then we jump into an application, it just pulls us into our last state. And this is really very useless to us. We actually would much rather have a hub overview every time we looked into BlackBerry Peak, but that's just a minor shortcoming. As far as the fundamental operation of the interface goes, it doesn't really affect it all that much. A lot of gestures, a lot of swiping, a lot of intuitive uh, movements and we're really really impressed that BlackBerry have, has come so far um, and yes it's taken them a very long time but compared to what they had before in BlackBerry 7 OS 7 to BlackBerry 10 it's really a world apart so that has been a video um, overview of BlackBerry 10 using the BlackBerry Z10 as a uh, example handset we can't wait until it lands on the BlackBerry Q10 with a more traditional BlackBerry form factor until then Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to Know Your Mobile's YouTube channel if you enjoyed this video.